Hi guys, hope everybody is doing really, really well. Um, this is a bit of a weird one today because I bought this a, a little while back um, and this was a Facebook Marketplace tool haul, which is uh, a first for me. I've never been on Facebook Marketplace before. Um, basically, my mate Jack from Jack's Shed sent me a link to the Facebook Marketplace and I accidentally went on it. You know how it is when you accidentally do things, you know, like accidentally buy a, a vice. So and when I was on it, I saw this um, red Colombian. Now, I'm sure I've seen it before. I think Ben Maul has a very similar one. Um, it's a Colombian D44 slash M3. So it's quite a big one and it's been restored by the chap I bought it off called Stephen. But I'm thinking I may change the colour on it again. At the minute, it's like a red, but it's kind of like a chalky red, like a matty colour. So I'm thinking it might look nicer with a more of a glossy colour. So, and I noticed that the um, actual um, uh, bar, cheetah bar, is a little bit bent. So it could do with being, you know, cleaned up a little bit. So I saw that on Facebook Marketplace. The other two wasn't for sale. Um, and I ended up going to the guy's house, which was in Liverpool. So it was kind of like about about 45 minute drive away. Because in the UK, Colombian vices, even if they're not the most sought after in the US, they are very, very rare and a little bit, you know, exotic here because there's very few of them around. So I, when I was there, I was having a good chat to the guy and he, he gave me the link or um, phoned another vice collector and I ended up going to his house. Um, if anyone watched my pyramid vice, I actually got that off him and that's coming up in a upcoming tool haul because I've been buying quite a few <laughs> vices recently been on a vice kick um, so uh, the Colombian was up for sale we agreed a price I went round and when I was there I bought the 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 Chaz Parker uh, vice um, um, USA CT so I'm not sure what that stands for Connecticut I don't know I'm just gonna I'm just bass out on that one but then again that looks like it's got a non-standard non -standard sort of bar with a nut on it and it's got issues so but then again that is also a rare vice in the uk I imagine it's pretty common in the us a chas parker but it's it's pretty cool um, and then while i was there i bought the pb swiss miniature one and then actually um ha hand tool restoration um, Jim sent me one of those as well so now I've got two of those so I'm thinking of painting them in different colours and seeing which one I like the best so these are upcoming restorations and cleanups so we've got pretty cool uh, pretty cool vices here um, but you know and pretty unusual vices for the UK anyway but probably pretty common ones as well not sure how old the Colombian is I think it might be only 20 or 30 years old looks pretty modern to me but I'm guessing that the Chas Park is probably from the 20s if I had to guess, but I might be wrong on that as well. So let's take a closer look and see. Um, let's have a closer look at these Colombian and that, and then we'll do a guess the price. All right, thanks a lot. So right guys, this was the one I actually uh, came to buy, which is a little um, Colombian uh, D44M3. Um, not really had a close look since I bought it really. I've been busy doing other stuff. It's got a four inch, it's a little four inch vice. And then obviously the handle itself is, let's have a look. You can see the handle itself is pretty, pretty old Bentio. So, you know, that needs, could do with a bit of dake action. Um, but he's obviously, he, I noticed on his, has an Instagram page. Um, there'll be a link below to the chap who bought this off his Instagram page if you want to go check him out. He has also has some other tools for sale if you're in the UK. Obviously, he's done some work to this, but I think it could go further. I think these could be straightened out. I think you probably could do a bit more grinding on this to take out some of the pits. And possibly, I might just use that as an undercoat and then go over the top of it again. I'm not sure, because it, it probably could do with, you know, another coat, either of the same paint or something else. But it's a lovely vice, and he's done a good job. And I saw his pictures previous, and it was pretty damn rough let me tell you so he's done a good job so well done Stephen on that um nice vice a little bit unusual um made in the us of a which is always cool so i was pretty pleased with that 
it's a nice little vice and that was the original one and then i made a deal on two more so let's briefly check out the other two so this is the second vice i bought which i saw he had two of these so that's why he sold me one because he was a little bit of a collector as well of smaller vices he had quite a nice collection himself and um, this is a british made uh, p and b pb swiss made in england and it's got quite nice lines you know on the shape of it quite nice lines sort of 50s looking lines on it so this will clean up nice and i have another one from jim which is also in pretty good nick as well good condition so i'm really looking forward to painting both of those up and putting them on my shelf so that's a nice little vice for the collection and then we'll have a look at this chas parker and then put in the bottom your guess as well Right, so this is the third one I picked up. And when I picked it up, I kind of had a bit of buyer's remorse on it when I was coming away because it's kind of big. It's It's got quite an unusual sort of step design. So if you were going to commit to this vice, you'd be pretty much destroying your vent bench to get this seated properly on the bench. You're going to have to pretty much destroy it, basically, because you're going to have to cut this notch out of your of 45 off the bench to fit but it's a Chas Parker and Company. I think it's a Meridian CT. I'm not sure what county that is. You'll have to chime in. USA. Um, nice vice. It's, very, it's got a very cool look. I think the bar is a replacement. Um, but it's I, I just love that mandrel at the front. That It's just got a real look to it. So it's a really cool vice. Um, pretty decent size. Let's have a look how big they... Uh, it's, it's only a four inch as well, but it's it's like three times the size of the actual other vice and it's only a four inch. So yeah, so I I went to buy that little one. I thought it might fit and I ended up buying three. Um, God help me. So put in the description below, uh, which one's your favourite? If you're going to have one, which one would it be? And also um, how much do you think I paid for all three vices? There was no... Um, no postage because I went and collected it. So just the price I paid. Um, and then obviously there'll be a guest surprise maybe later on in the week where I reveal the winner. All right. I hope you enjoyed this uh, Vice haul. This kind of cool Vice haul. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a lovely night. Take care. Bye.